What's up everybody? So you want to have tow in your lawnmower, like this right here. You might have an obsessive amount of tow out or insane amount of tow in and steering is just very sketchy. So I'm going to show you a little modification that I'm just going to kind of whoop together, weld up, and it should work. So here's the steering on my lawnmower. Before it was fine, but I ran into a rock and it kind of bent the spindle back. The steering's all out of alignment, has an insane amount of tow out. And one of you guys in the comments uh, said this and you know, I put a name somewhere on the screen probably if I remember um, They I should make an adjustable tow bar with this and that's what I'm probably going to probably going to do So I bought this little thing here well, That's just gonna be slipped in there like that and I was thinking about just welding some bolts on right here then putting this thing screwing it on right there, but I figured out you have to have a, a regular bolt and a left hand threaded bolt. And you know with the left hand threaded bolt, that's like, you know, some dang alien technology you can't find is dang left hand threaded bolts. So this is the only thing I could buy with a left hand threaded bolt in it. All right, so we got that piece cut out sitting right there. I got that, the left handed end, I think, uh, clamp right there and I'm gonna tack that and tack right there and yeah, just kinda get a mock up. All right, so got the wheel back on there. Looks pretty legit. Doesn't hit the torque converter pulley underneath. So let's align this and I can still tow it in more or tow it out more or whatever. But let's align that. And honestly, that's about, that's about neutral. Honestly, yeah, and no, I'm gonna put this back in the center, but you know, I want neutral tow with like ever so slightly towing, but that's about it. Cause I don't want too much tow because too much tow is causing it to hop up and down and you know, all that bull crap. And tow out was just extremely darty at high speed. It seems to work real nice. So I cut the circle end off, welded it on here. This is the right hand thread. Threaded this on to right here and I put a zip tie on there to hold it still or to make it stiff so when I adjust it, it's not gonna unscrew and crap while I'm going down the road. And on this end, I put the eyeball over this, welded it in place, lined that up with that, and that allowed the screw to stick out. And I screwed this in there and put a zip tie on that. I put a left-hand threaded nut right here. You can put one in here, but Eh, whatever. Put a zip tie on that. That way I could screw it like this. It's kind of hard right now, but you get the idea. If I screw it uh, this way, that'll allow it to tow out. If I unscrew it this way, it pushes it out, making it have more towing. So there you go, guys. Again, it's real simple. Just go to track to supply or whatever, pick up one of these things, weld it on there and you should have an adjustable front tie rod. This could be good for your off-road lawnmower, your racing lawnmower, pretty much anything you got. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's lawnmower steering in any way. The best thing you really do is put a rack and pinion in there, but I don't really feel like spending the money and completely modifying the front end to do that. So this is just gonna work for now. And we're not gonna do a test run this video because I mean, you get the idea. I mean, you're not gonna see what a difference it's gonna make. I have tested it and it does feel much better. You know, just adjust it the way you like, but yeah, you get the idea. So hopefully this helps some of y'all out. Uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Thumbs down twice if you suck, cause two's better than one. And God bless y'all and y'all should see me in the next one. And give me any questions or comments or any other ideas you got, link down, or not link, comment down below. See you in the next one.